welcome back and happy tasty Tuesday. We are here at the Marked in Poplar Bluff, a super cool bar and grill, also with a tattoo studio attached right next to it. We're here with Vicki Limpert, co-owner and Deanna Limpert, bar manager. Let's talk all about this place this morning. What is this place all about? This place was a concept with me and my husband for many years. Um, we just always had the vision of wanting to have a tattoo themed bar and grill. Something to where you could, after you go and get a tattoo, you can go and unwind, have a good bite to eat, have a drink, things like that. Um, when we did our menu, we tried to give it tattoo themed names for, you know, shipwreck nachos, things like that. Um, and it's just been a wonderful journey. We're going on three years now. We just had our third year anniversary for the bar part. Um, Deanna has been a great help to us. Yeah. She has corporate experience when it comes to this kind of thing, so it helped us when we were starting out. Yeah. So. And so you guys started, I guess, was it a little bit after the COVID pandemic? How was that starting, you know, I guess just beyond that or kind of a little bit in the midst of it too? We actually started right at the end of the COVID and it was a, a scary jump mm -hmm. <laughs> because we were focusing more on this side of it versus the tattoo side of it and people weren't going out to eat as much. People were staying home, people were scared to be out, and so it took a little bit, and it was pretty scary starting up. Mm -hmm. And so then, the tattoo studio that is literally right next door attached to you guys, was that something that had been here and you guys partnered up, or is that something that you own as well? What is that? We own that as well. Mm -hmm. um, we were at a different location and had been looking to do something with this to where you could sit here and watch your friends get tattooed while you're having a drink or having a bite to eat. Awesome. And this building became available mm -hmm. and so it was the perfect building. It had already had the kitchen equipment in it so it was perfect. So we moved the tattoo studio here and put in the bar and grill and State didn't like it very much at first, but <laughs> we, once we explained to them that we have, you know, very strict rules, mm -hmm. you don't drink right. and then get tattooed, mm -hmm. and they come in toward the building, and it was just a journey. Yeah, I believe it. And so what's the community response been with this bar and grill? I could imagine that people probably love it. It has been a mixed response. Some of them were scared to try it because they felt like they were going to have to see people get tattooed while they're trying to eat. Um, but well, they weren't allowed to come in because they didn't have tattoos. Oh, so yes, that yes. Thing at first. <laughs> yes. Like, everybody's welcome. Because what our slogan on our sign is for the ink and out and things like that. Yeah. And I actually had a customer say, well, I don't have any tattoos just last night. Oh my goodness. And so I was like, well, it's never too late. Right, exactly. <laughs> have you ever had anyone come in here who doesn't have any tattoos and then they were in here, they enjoyed the environment and they decided to go get a tattoo? Did that, has that ever happened yet? We have had a couple people that have went over there and set up appointments for because they had already started having a drink or whatever. And so they would go over and set up an appointment and schedule it out. And there have been a few. That is so, so cool. I love that. And obviously, let's talk about the stuff that you have on your menu. This stuff looks absolutely amazing. What are some of the fan favorites? I'd imagine that these are some of the fan favorites right here. What are these? This is the Marked Mac Burger, my absolute favorite thing on the menu. Uh -huh. Super messy, delicious. <laughs> uh, this is the scratcher. This okay. was one of the things off our original menu. Mm -hmm. A lot of this has been added, but this was off the original menu. This has fried onion rings, fried pickles, and queso. queso. Oh, it's gosh. Delicious. <laughs> uh, this is the barbecue fry. Anything that you get off this menu that has pulled pork or queso is excellent. I will vouch for it 100%. I believe it. Delicious. And that is the shipwreck nacho, another item from our original menu. Oh my gosh, it yeah, all lots looks, of queso. <laughs> it looks so amazing. I need to try one of them. What should I try? She's all gonna she, <laughs> she her pick is always gonna be the Marked Mac burger. That's one how of does, her favorites. How does someone eat this? With a fork? Is that what they do? Or you pick it up, make a mess, and take a shower later. <laughs> 
love that. Some people think, cut it in half and that way it's a little bit easier for them to handle, but yeah, yeah just picking it up okay. and going for it. Let's let's try this. So while I'm doing this and making a mess, talk about what is on this, how it's made, how you guys came up with this. What is this? <laughs> I I love queso. Yeah. I love queso. I love pasta. I love bread. <laughs> I just had all of it. It is our diced bacon. It's actually our marked mac is a dish all by itself on the menu. Yeah. And the marked mac has diced bacon, queso, and green onions in it. And it was a big hit, so we just added it to a cheeseburger. Oh my god. And it's been a big hit since. I get it. <laughs> so I good. never thought I would have a burger with mac and cheese. So good. That is delicious. <laughs> Holy cow. And so this is something that is on the menu all the time. People oh, yes. don't have to worry about it not being available. They can find this one. Yes. Is this, would you say, your guys' most popular item on the menu? Oh, it's, it's hard. Yeah. It's like every week something changes. The scratcher is probably the better seller than the yeah. market. People are weird about, like you said, never thought I'd have mac and cheese on a burger. Right, right. That is, it's the hard sell yeah. because of that. But it's so good once you have it, then you... That is delicious. And I feel like I could split that in half and have it for lunch and dinner, and then I just have my whole day figured out for my meal. That is that is so good. Holy cow. If you've never had a mac and cheese on your burger, definitely come here and have mac and cheese on your burger. So how can people find out more about you guys? Do you guys have a Facebook, a website? What does that look like? We do. We have a Facebook page, uh, Marked Bar and Grill. We also have a website to where they can order online. We have some factory workers that call in and place their order ahead of time and then come into lunch. Oh, that's wonderful. And it's just ready for them when they get here. That way they're not waiting for their food to be prepared of on course. a short lunch break. Um, We're also on DoorDash for the people that can't stop it. Yeah. Yes, we have DoorDash. Um, but you can order online at the markedbarngrill.com and then DoorDash or just call us and we can prepare it for you. That's awesome. And then also have to talk about the tattoo studio. When is that open? When can people come in and get tattoos? The tattoo studio is open from 11 a.m. to about 7 p.m. Tuesday through or Wednesday through Saturday mm -hmm. and then on Sunday 1 to 6. Okay, are appointments necessary or walk-ins? We do, they do walk-ins on a first come first serve basis, so sometimes you can just get in, but other times you are depending on your tattoo also. Yeah. If it's a bigger piece, they're going to want to, you know, draw it out and have it done in sessions and mm -hmm. schedule it out so they have a big enough time that they're not trying to rush or things like that course. Well guys, this is awesome. If you don't have a tattoo, if you have all of the tattoos, you have to come to the Marked. Here in Poplar Bluff, this place is, it's legit. It is super cool. The food's amazing. And just the, the ambiance here is incredible. So definitely check out the Marked in Poplar Bluff. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thank you. We'll be back in just a bit.